which we are made up of. 13.7 billion years old. Okay, after that, the matter started taking a shape. Then the first important thing which happened was that the protons and the electrons combined into what we call as a hydrogen, neutral hydrogen atom. This thing happened when the universe was 10 to the power 4 degree Kelvin. The temperature of the universe was almost 1000 degree or 10,000 degree Kelvin high. Okay, at that time first hydrogen atom was created in the neutral state. It happened very early in the history of our universe. So there was a time when if you go back around that time, you will have neutral hydrogen atoms floating in the space everywhere. These neutral hydrogen atoms will eventually form clouds. Okay, I'm not referring to here our atmospheric clouds, I'm talking about the interstellar clouds which exist in the interstellar space. So neutral hydrogen atoms were created everywhere. These neutral hydrogen atom clouds were formed. These clouds started colliding with each other as a result of which small galaxies started forming. So we have, now we come to the point where the galaxy formation starts. So these neutral hydrogen gas clouds will collide with each other and the galaxies will form. These are very tiny galaxies. These tiny galaxies collided further with each other and resulted in the formation of larger galaxies. I told you earlier that the galaxies keep on colliding with each other as a result of which smaller galaxies become bigger and bigger and so on. So this process is never stopping. This is how the galaxies were formed. Now how are the planets and the stars formed in the galaxies? This is what we call as a nebula or a molecular cloud. There are thousands and millions of such places existing in the uh, interstellar space. We call them as molecular clouds. These clouds are quite big. They are tens of light years big. Huge molecular clouds. Okay? Not the atmospheric clouds. These Clouds consist of molecules of hydrogen, then you have all the elements in the periodic table existing either in the form of dust, what we call as an interstellar dust, or existing in the form of gases. Interesting thing is that some of these places where you have very high density of these molecular clouds, these gravity squeezes these regions. The gravity of this region itself, it brings the matter together as a result of which this matter comes together and it results in the formation of star. So if you wonder how the star is formed, the stars are actually formed from the gravitational collapse of these molecular cloud cores. These are small cores. So whenever a star is formed, there is a possibility that some amount of gas and dust is left around it. This gas and dust eventually accretes together, accumulates together and it results in the formation of planets. If you ever wonder why in our solar system the planets are going around the sun. The reason is that when our solar sun was formed because of the gravitational collapse of a molecular cloud, some amount of gas and dust was left around it. This gas and dust accumulated, it results in the formation of planets. Okay. Now there is an interesting thing, these places, the stars have not formed so far, but then there are other places where the stars are formed. You see here, there are thousands of stars which are formed here, in, in a single region. If you wait and watch for let us say few million years, let us say that we meet after five, four million years, let us have a get together after four, four million years. Take the photograph of this region, you will see stars here. In this region you will have stars. And then in, around these stars you will have planets which would have formed there. And maybe after billions of years some life will form over there and then they will have their own civilizations. So this is how the... You take it, Jabra. Okay. So what is the physics of a star formation? A part of a molecular cloud, it undergoes gravitational collapse. The gravity just brings the matter together. As a result of which a star is formed. 
technically speaking if you see a star is basically a ball of gas very high temperature gas you can say plasma because it has got ionization also but it's a gas so when a molecular cloud compresses it's the basically a star formation is a very simplistic thing in the sense that the gas is not put together in a small volume of space when do you say that the star formation has occurred when at the core of the star this reaction starts which basically consumes four protons you remember those protons which were created at the time of big bang just after the big bang these protons will now come together it will produce helium it happens at this much temperature 15 million degree kelvin this is a very exothermic reaction in terms of in, in terms of nuclear physics this is the most predominant exothermic reaction which operates inside the stars okay and this is the reason why the stars shine this particular reaction it is a very simplified reaction but uh, we have an understanding about the technical details how it proceed in the uh, in details okay a little bit of technical note for the physics community when we talk about these nuclear reactions operating inside stars these are very low energy reactions operating in less than 100 kilo electron volt in fact it is typically 10 kilo electron volt range uh, the cross sections the nuclear reaction cross sections here are in the micro bonds regions okay this is for physics community student okay others can simply miss it or they can just keep it at the back of their head just as a sake of curiosity because uh, i know i how, how i have grown up you listen to something crazy then th that is the first thing you want to understand because it challenges your intellect okay but so you keep on teasing your students men uh, physically uh, not uh, mentally or physically sorry you, you keep on teasing your student at a intellectual level okay that is the uh, role of a teacher so in the core of a, a star hydrogen fuses into helium then what can helium do helium can fuse into carbon if you wonder how carbon is produced this is a reaction it's known as a triple alpha reaction three alpha nuclei fuses to produce carbon one helium nuclei fuses with carbon to produce oxygen 16 the story continues name a isotope whether it is a stable isotope radionuclide in a periodic table we will precisely tell you the nuclear reaction which has created it okay and how where what was the astrophysical scenario when it was created that is the state of our art science eventually when star produce these elements the star explodes especially if it's a massive star okay the star explodes in what we call as a supernova explosion during this supernova explosion the matter is thrown into the interstellar space from this matter there is a possibility that next generation of stars will born so the stars are going through a cycle the stars are born they live for some time they die then they produce uh, when they die the next generation of stars are born and the cycle continues if you were to represent the entire evolution of our universe in a single slide this is the algorithm we started with the big bang 13.7 billion years back the galaxy formation occurred then within galaxy stars are born low mass stars intermediate mass stars massive stars then these stars evolve they throw matter into the space that the next generation stars are born they live they die they kill if you think about any element in your body like iron or like uh, carbon oxygen if you were to ask me a question how many stars it would take to form those elements it takes millions of years over billions of years of galaxy evolution to form each and every isotope which you have in your body so your body is extremely precious or anything else just like anything else Yes, the stars have forged all the elements that exist. Think about any element; it will tell you a story. But just think about a calcium atom from your nail. Let us say you ask a story: Where were you formed? This fellow will say, "Look, I was formed in some particular star by this particular nuclear." Keep on tracking it; it will track all the way to the Big Bang. 
eventually all the stories began in a big bang your own stories also began in big bang okay that is how the whole thing goes and the stories will never end you will keep on 